What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dusty the Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. In this very quick episode, we're going to be talking about wiring up all of the tank level sensors in the black tank, both gray tanks, and the freshwater tank. Now, in a previous episode, I had already went in and installed all tank level sensors, and now that all needs to be done is actually wiring all of those sensors back to the actual monitor panel itself. So that's exactly what this episode is going to be. Now, so far, what I've got set up here is I've got all 20 AWG type uh, size solid wire that we're going to be using for each specific monitor sensor. For the black tank, we're going to be using, obviously, the brown wire. For the first gray tank, we're going to be using a gray wire. For the second gray tank, we'll use the black wire. And then for the freshwater tank, we will use a blue wire. And then to ground it all out, of course, we'll go to white. Now this is going to be a quick episode. It's going to be a full DIY explanation. And so without further ado, we're going to get this switched over, like as always, and get this work started. So here we go. What do you say? Let's get it started, guys. All right, starting with our black tank. Red is our signal wire, which will be connected to the brown. White is our ground, which will be connected to the white. We're also going to utilize some heat shrink uh, at these connection points just to protect them as a secondary. So let's get this started. Strip your wire. It's always appropriate to use uh, appropriate tools like wire strippers and crimpers. So we'll start with the first connection point here. Give it a nice pull, and we're good. Take a nice little measurement about right there. And put a shrink element, or heat shrink, I should say, to this. Just let that sit there. I've already stripped this in. I should get a little bit more. Some good little trim. Put that in there. Let's go ahead and crimp this end. Good pull. Nice. First one's done. Second one we will trim as well. Just like that. I'm going to time lapse everything else. Heat shrink just comes right over, a little lighter. Soften it up, melts right over just like that. We'll protect that and then we'll run it back to the monitor. 
So I'll switch this over to time lapse and you guys can watch me do the other three remainder tanks. So all the wiring is officially complete for all of the tank sensors, the brakes, everything that was needed to go inside the frame between belly pin and the subfloor. All we need to do now is go over, install the subfloor, bring that wire up to the tank sensor monitors, put the belly pin on, put the brake wires for each one through the belly pin. We'll run a grommet on there at that time. But as for the wiring, everything, it's complete. So guys, if you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, as always, this is Danny signing out.